so we are ready to go for Tonga's Eve of Match Briefing. We have Tyler Blayendow, we have Havaleva Fafita, and Solomoni Kata. If you could raise your hands when you have a question and wait for the mic. Let's start with you, Frankie. Yeah, morning, guys. Uh, Frankie Diggs from the RNS. Uh, Tyler, you played in, in, in Ireland, so you know most of these guys. Uh, what are the biggest challenges uh, your team is facing tomorrow? I think one of the big challenges is how together they are. They've played a lot of time together and they're a pretty well oiled machine, uh, number one in the world. So it's a real challenge for us, but we're excited for it and, and we're going to make sure we bring our best game and, and really showcase our strengths. And how you would have planned how to damage them, which is the way to damage them? Without giving away a game plan, but uh, we're going to have to be quite... Some tips? So we're going to have to be quite physical. I think we're going to have to win the, the breakdown battle, the tackle battle, and have a really strong set piece. I think that's the foundation for our game, and that's what we're going to have to do on the weekend. I guess I'll continue. Uh, Havaleva, uh, you also play regularly against uh, Irish teams. What can you tell us about them? Day-to-day, uh, this... Yeah, I mean, you, you know them, uh, you've seen them, you train with them. What do you expect of them? Well, yeah, we have been uh, playing a few times with uh, the boys from the Irish team, and I think they're really class in terms of uh, everything they do, basic stuff, in terms of uh, uh, keeping the ball and um, <coughs> playing their style of rugby, and then, yeah. <coughs> I expect from them they will uh, try to uh, keep the base of the game uh, fast and uh, trying to beat us around the corner and stuff like that, but uh, we'll do our best. Any questions? Hello, Simon from French newspaper, local one. Um, it's your first game in the World Cup, it's your first game. So after three months of preparation, uh, how do you feel 24 hours before the game? Uh, to be honest, I'm uh, going to be pretty nervous uh, preparation for the games tomorrow. And then um, uh, just going to be take that encouragement of our, in terms of our preparation from the last uh, three months. So uh, encourage ourselves and get in there challenge ourselves with the best team in the world. Uh, George Bohulu, uh, Tonga Sports Tribune. Um, for all you boys, what does this uh, mean? Do you have anything to say for our, for the Kingdom of Tonga? Oh yeah, I'll answer that. Um, can I speak in Tonga? Yeah. Okay. Malau Lili. I don't know if I'm a lot of people who are in the world. I don't know if I'm a lot of people who are in the world. I don't know if I'm a lot of people who are in the world. I don't know if I'm a lot of people who are in the world. I don't know if I'm a lot of people who are in the world. I don't know if I'm a lot of people who are do you mind um, just saying that, summarizing it in English? Uh, I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, all I said was uh, I just want to say thanks to all the Tongans around the world, especially the, the people of Tonga in the kingdom and our family for the, the support and, um, and the prayers. Um, if I think that's what we need as um, a Pacific Islanders, which are big beliefs in, uh, in our faith. That's all we say, and I just want to. Thank you for that. Thank you them for all their support and that, and just continue and support us through this journey. So yeah. Thank you very much, Frankie. Yeah, Solomoni, you played uh, rugby league at international level. What, what are the biggest uh, differences? What's what's different in the environment, the culture? Uh, to be honest, it's not really. There's no difference between um, the culture at league and then rugby. We're all the same. We all came from the from the island. We have a humor, we have like, you know, heaps of fun in it, but just the game itself, I think rugby is a more, 
tactical or more, you know, they, I'll say more is like smarter, smarter players and, uh, <laughs> and yeah. You spoke about the fun loving uh, aspect of the Islanders. Uh, how, you, how are you preparing the next 24 hours before the game? Is it just relax? Is it thinking about the Lord? Is it just having fun? How, how do you, both of you, how do you, how do you carry the next hours uh, ahead of the game? Uh, to be honest, uh, I think we're gonna, I think it's, everyone's different, uh, the how they prep before the game. But for me, myself, I just love to take my, um, myself out of the game and just don't think about um, rugby at all. Just enjoy my, uh, my time off, um, of rugby and um, love to go for a walk. Uh, go with the boys, have a coffee or play some cards and that. Just uh, stay relaxed and just, you know, leave tomorrow for tomorrow. Oh, come on. You have been raised up in a country that you pray a uh, Christian and then that's the first thing for me. Wake up in the morning, praise the Lord for giving me the strength and the talent. And then from there, just chill and like what the uh, so I'm gonna say same thing, Jill, and then just like get yourself prepared, uh, ready to go. Question at the back. Yeah, hi, uh, Ed Elliott from PA Media. Uh, question for Tyler. Uh, everyone's talked about this pool being the pool of death, and it almost being a three-way shootout between South Africa, Ireland, and Scotland to, to go into the quarterfinals. Are, are you confident of playing your part in that, causing some upsets and, and mixing it up a little bit? Yeah, well, that's why we're here. I think reality is they're, they're much better, more complete teams than us because they're playing at a higher level of competition more often, but that doesn't change our ambition, our preparation. We're here to really fire some shots and try and knock over all the teams in our pool every week. That's our attitude, but we're, we're not delusional to the challenge we face, that's for sure, but we're excited for the challenge, and, and it's definitely our goal to try and perform first and then the results... They're going to be what they are. Just behind. Hey, guys. Um, Richie McCormick from OTB Sports in Dublin. Uh, this is a question for Leiva and Tyler, I guess, in particular, maybe even uh, Salamani there as well. How heavily have you lent on the experience of the likes of Leiva and, and Malachi and even yourself, Tyler, in preparation for this week, given your, obviously, relationship with Irish rugby? Yeah, I th to be honest, there's been an element of that, some familiarity with the style of play and the players in the team, but like I just mentioned, we, we've had to put an awful lot of focus on our own game. Um, you know, it's been a, it's been a tough prep. Um, you know, we're just trying to get our combination sorted, our style of play sorted, and, and mix that in with a few opportunities and challenges that we see with Ireland. So, yeah, it's been good to have some familiarity within the squad, with Lever, with uh, Muller, myself, few guys have played against Irish teams so um, but like I said the focus has been mainly on our own game and our, and our own performance the way we want to perform. Uh, you would have seen Uruguay against France last night um, does that encourage you that uh, a team that's perceived uh, smaller uh, takes uh, a team like France head on? Uh, I didn't watch that one so yeah I just watched that one uh, last night and then pretty much uh, encouraged myself and the team as well, just cheering for, for them and then, yeah, they have a good crack on the last night. <coughs> Tyler, do you reckon that means that uh, the distances are, uh, are getting smaller? Well, like I said, there's challenges because of the, the amount of times we cross over with each other, I think, but there's performances to be had and we can challenge them on the night. And you know, we've talked about out of 100 games, how many would you expect to win? Well, it doesn't matter. We just, we've got to try win one and that's it. So the gap hopefully is closed on the weekend for us, but uh, you know, there's a bit of work to do before we close the gap uh, long term, I believe. Final question. 15,000 uh, uh, Irish fans are expected tomorrow. Uh, they will play at home indeed. So, uh, do you fear this kind of uh, atmosphere? Uh, fear for for them, or <laughs> no? Just joking. Yeah, uh, we'll be good. I reckon we'll be good. Uh, so I reckon we're going to be a good challenge for the boys, especially 
the kind of crowd will be loud. I think we, the boys been there before, some of them, but yeah, we're looking forward to the challenge. I know they're number one for a reason. We're on the dog, we're gonna come here to do our job and just, you know, do our best. Thank you very much. That is the end of the briefing. Thank you very much, guys. Oh, thank you, guys.